नमस्कार स्वागत है आपका न्यूज फ्लैश में मैं हूं आशी प्रतीक और चलिए बढ़ते हैं आज की खास खबर की दिल्ली के जवाहरलाल नेहरू स्टेडियम में होने वाले 25 से 28 अगस्त तक का चार दिवसीय सीपी फुटबॉल चैंपियनशिप एंड क्लासिफिकेशन सर्टिफिकेशन 2022 का दूसरे दिन फॉरेन से आए तीन काफी अनुभवी ट्रेनर जिसमें सेम टर्नर जो इंग्लैंड से हैं दूसरे मतीस हेनरिक जो चिली से हैं और तीसरे में महिला ट्रेनर कॉर्लेट मेसियन जो स्पेन से आए हुए हैं उनके द्वारा सुबह स्टेडियम के ग्राउंड में और दोपहर को मीटिंग हॉल में लगभग 25 कोच और फिजियो थेरेपिस्ट को फुटबॉल के बारीकियों की जानकारी दी कार्यक्रम के संचालक सीपीएसएफआई स्पोर्ट्स फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया के प्रेसिडेंट राजेश तोमर सीईओ कविता सुरेश ने बताया कि सभी ट्रेनर काफी अनुभवी हैं और कोच और खिलाड़ियों को खेल की अच्छी जानकारी दे रहे हैं Again, for the player with the emulated pattern, F2, you can see here the running pattern is, is not so clear because of some spasticity. And you cannot use that. Right? Very important and very difficult to, to use that. BSFI name is classification post conduct here. So they bring the international classifiers for our coaches and physiotherapists too. So, this classification course will help us to get a CPT athlete in our own level. How do we classify a CPT athlete in sports? How do we classify a CPT athlete in which class they can fall and they can participate for a pure sports? So, this classification course helps us in two parts. The first part is our theory session, which is done by Sam Turner. He is in a CPT year of IFCP. International football, football, or cricket football. And second session, after this theory, we had a ground play over there. We learned how to understand coordination, how to understand the class, which uh, class required for a team to participate in city football and some other sports too. So, yeah, it's the education classification course for us. And we are really thankful to CPSF. We have a classification course conducted. And this level. So today we conduct a cerebral palsy football classification course um, for coaches, physiotherapists, uh, classifiers to learn more about the classification system in cerebral palsy football. And inside we've covered about the Paralympic classification and different types of disability and the different classification profiles and then outside of the field we observe players and also been through some technical exercises and classification exercises so that we can see more about what the disability looks like on the field of play. So it's really important at the grassroots level to find new players and to help the children and new players to understand where they can play and how they can play in CP football. But then also at events like the national championships and the national team so that you can find the right players to make a, a good team but also the right players to play at the best international level. Also to avoid any problems in classification so that uh, they all have the right disability but also the right level of disability to together form a team. Thank you.